Tulsi Gabbard is a former presidential candidate and former congresswoman of Hawaii. Tulsi, it is striking when you see Putin propaganda and you line it up against Biden propaganda. Do you think that we're at risk of kind of moving in that direction right now? It's not enough that they also have Google and big tech basically working for them and with them to control what information we see and what information we don't see. None of this is enough because they won't stop. And it's not just the Biden administration. It's not just Democrats. It's the power elite. It's the neocons and the neolibs working together to make sure that every single voice in this country, anybody who's got a platform, is spouting their narrative that they want people to see and hear their propaganda. Propaganda. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard O'Jet here. And infants cry for attention. Kids that continue that phase are called brats. And people that continue that phase into adulthood are called Fox News hosts. Jesse Waters and lunatic right-winger masquerading as a dim Tulsi Gabbard put on an epic tantrum claiming that freedom of speech is restricted here as much as it is in Russia. And this is what's so dangerous about the place that we're in right now uh, as a country. Uh, where this idea, this principle, this foundation of freedom of speech, freedom of expression uh, is directly under threat and under attack. And you're right, it's not so different. What's happening here is not so different from what we're seeing happening in Russia, where you've got state TV and controlled messaging across the board. This is, this is where we're at. The truth is these leeches know what product Fox is selling, and it's certainly nothing resembling news. They're selling their own selfish notoriety, and they see these sound bites as their meal tickets. The dumber, the more outlandish, the more offensive and blatantly false, the better. Their audience isn't interested in fact. Their audience is looking for things to feed their hostility. And if you play into that, you've got bona fide grade A sheep food. And the morons that view that crap will be blindly eating out of your hands. They're afraid of the truth. They're afraid of even a single voice coming out as challenging the power elite, questioning them, daring to hold a dissenting view. And they're afraid because their arguments are so weak that, that they know they will not withstand the light of the truth. And this is why we're seeing not only still most of the mainstream media very vigorously uh, defending and pushing uh, the Biden propaganda. When you have a blind and poorly educated base like that, you can easily write your own exemption from ever telling the truth. This is where the whining and crying comes in. Gabbard can get on there in front of these morons and cry wolf that people are trying to censor her and that her alternative facts, AKA outright lies, are really the secret shining truth. And just like Area 51, Bigfoot and Elvis, they're all being oppressed and hidden from you by the government in a long laid secret plot to somehow destroy the poorly educated Fox viewing rednecks lives. And these morons just outright accept any schmuck they see on TV that's crying the same little lies that they want to believe, regardless of how far removed from fact they are. Tulsi, nobody is censoring you. You are literally on a broadcast news program spitting in the face of our entire country with an outrageous lie, and you're not getting censored. Far from it. In fact, you're making an entire posh career off of this crap. And look at our society. Misinformation outweighs fact two to one, it seems. I don't think there's too much censorship going on. In Russia, you get 15 years in prison for rightly calling what's going on in Ukraine a war. In the United States, you can call a coup attempt to overthrow democracy a peaceful protest full of loving patriots, and you get top billing in the Republican Party. It's quite the contrast, but here's the facts. These dirtbags have never experienced real hardships, real persecution, and maybe they've had it too good because they're crying about nothing more than a wet diaper. Remember, these are the same type of morons who made parallels between wearing a mask and slavery. You've got to be a special kind of psycho to have that that kind of persecution complex and talk about offensive. My God, comparing literally the worst crime one human can inflict on another to your own petty selfish whining about wearing a piece of tissue on your face for five minutes. Somebody should knock you square in the teeth for saying things like that. But you've got a whole right wing media complex of fellow bedwetters crying about this stuff. So it takes a grand total of two seconds to figure out that you are wrong, Tulsi Gabbard, and your comment is an insult to every American. And guess what? Nobody is censoring you. You're still getting your fat checks from right-wing media for spewing your venom. We're just calling you for what you are, a pathetic whining baby, trying to throw our country in the mud for your own political favor so you can take your garbage elsewhere because we're not buying it. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.